Well, good afternoon, sales team optimization oracles. Welcome back again this time round at the next level. My name's Glenn Gilfoyle, and I head up the group called The Next Level, and we have pra been practicing the noble art of sales team optimization for all sorts of business to business sales organizations for coming up to 20 years now. So we like to come to you on a regular basis in this form, both written and video, with a little insight, a little learning, a little conversation of interest that we might have gleaned from uh, the work we've done of recent times. And so this uh, time around, I want to talk about how to backfill your incomplete customer base current value and potential value data. So here we go. The cornerstone of customer targeting for any B2B on the road sales team is good data. From over 150 sales team optimization assignments spanning uh, 20 to 25 years, we have never yet seen a sales organization with a full set of accurate and up-to-date data for all clients, all of their clients, top to bottom. Now, fair to say, that ideal is impractical in a turbulent, ever-changing world. That said, too many sales organisations' data sets are very poor indeed. Sadly, too many of such organisations don't challenge themselves enough to improve their data. Subsequently, poor targeting ensues and ultimately sales rep subjectivity over who is important and who is less so reigns. Potential value data of each customer across the base is typically way harder to scope and accumulate than current value, especially so if the sales organisation in question does not trade directly with customers and trades via a channel intermediary that is parsimonious in sharing downstream sales revenue or current value to each end customer or shared customer. But for both current and potential value for all customers across the base, incomplete data sets should not stop us in our tracks there. The key is in developing proxy data sets to backfill absent real data. This will require setting up the sales team members to professionally profile all their customers on a set of profiling characteristics that can be used as proxy scores for either potential and or current value for each customer. I would argue that top flight sales teams should continuously be profiling their customers as part of best practice account management anyway. So this endeavor can double up to serve both purposes. With a full set of proxy scores for all the customers top to bottom and an incomplete set of real data for the same customer base, current and or potential value can run some simple statistical correlation analyses to backfill missing real data for the high correlation, correlation between proxy to real data um, characteristics and scores. How? We'll dive into that one in our next instalment. Stand by. <laughs> 